Hey you guys, this is Raphael. Greetings from Tennessee. I hope you all are healthy, I hope you're safe, and I hope you're staying away from each other still. And today we're gonna talk about a very attractive piece from the Civil War. This is an original Civil War enlisted man's artillery uniform. The uniform itself is made out of blue wool. It has the red trim. The red trim means artillery. They made the same coat with a gold and that represents cavalry. So right off the bat, we know exactly who wore this one. We can tell if it's a uniform worn by enlisted men, regular fighting men, privates, or an officer because of the buttons. When you look at the button, if it's just an eagle with a plain shield on their chest, it's a enlisted man's. If it's an officer, it will have the letter A for artillery. This one has 12 buttons going down the front, which is the correct amount for the standard issue federal shell jacket. This is referred to as a shell jacket. They have the two buttons on the collar on each side as well as two on the functioning cuffs. Inside, you'll have an original polished cotton lining, and it makes a lot of difference on values on these coats if it has the lining or no lining because most of the ones we encounter went into surplus after the war. There were companies like Stokes Kirk in, Pen in Philadelphia, and there was Bannerman in New York, and they bought up mass quantities of these pieces that were left over. Original pieces just didn't make it into service. Actually, a lot of those early movies that you see are using original pieces because in the teens and 20s, it was cheaper to buy these pieces than it was to have new ones built. So thank you, Bannerman, thank you, Stokes Kirk, for the ability to collect these these days. The coat has the shoulder scales on top right here. And these, they realized really early, clanked a lot, made a lot of noise, which is not what you want if you're trying to avoid detection. The scales are actually made of brass. And if you guys that metal detect look closely, there's probably a few pieces on here that you recognize. When these break apart and you find them in camps often, the little scales themselves will be separated. My first one I found probably 30 years ago when I was metal detecting, I had no idea what it was and I threw it back down. A lot of those early metal detecting hunts, some of the coolest pieces I found, I had no idea what it was. So the tip of the day, if you do go metal detecting, save everything until you know what it is you're throwing away. And back to the coat. When we turn him around, on the back, they actually have two little protrusions. These are called pillows. And they use the pillows to hold up the weight of the belt that the soldier was wearing. Because the weight would actually pull down and they put the belt on over the coat. And those helped hold the belt up. And it makes a difference if those are present. When you see everything together, it makes a beautiful display. And for the dollar, it makes one of the most attractive Civil War displays that are out there. A coat like this with the epaulets, with the shoulder boards, all the buttons in place, the lining, both the chest and the sleeve lining intact, they're gonna sell for about $2,000 to $3,000, depending on how pretty. Without that lining and without the shoulder scales, they're gonna sell for about $1,500 these days. I've got a couple of different versions on the site. If you get a chance to go to www.shilohrelics.com, you can see the coach, you can see the linings, and you can study them and learn. This was one of the pieces that was requested that I talk about because a lot of people don't get a chance to get an education on cloth. It's rare, and there's so much reproduction for the reenactors and for the crooks out there that you need to get a chance to hear about them to learn. And that's what I'm here. I not only wanna sell you something, cause I wanna sell every one of you something, but I want to help educate because I was very fortunate to have those guys when I was coming in that gave of their time and gave of their knowledge and helped me along. And many of them, I've actually seen notes from them about the posts that we're doing. And I want to say thank you 
to those guys that took the time to help me. Yeah, because without you guys, I'd be wearing a three-piece suit today instead of my Boston shirt. So I want you all to know how much I appreciate you. I hope that you're enjoying your collecting. I hope that you're staying safe, staying away from people, washing your hands, not just now, but from now on. And I hope you know that you always have an option and always choose to be kind. I hope you guys are safe and healthy. Love y'all.